What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenlee here with Cleaning Green Lawn Service in South Georgia. Um, I just put up Friday's video today. <laughs> it is Monday afternoon. Check this out. No, it's not really 107. Come on, man. Probably more like 90. I think I've mentioned this before. My Nissan Frontier, it's the only vehicle I've ever had does this. If you let it sit somewhere, like after the motor's gotten warm, uh, apparently that uh, thermometer is, is somewhere that heats up. Now it doesn't when you're going down the road. Um, it's even like if it's running, you know, if you've been let it sit there and idle, it doesn't go up. But if you just let it sit there in the sun, turned off with a hot engine that thing shoots way up by the time i get to 003's house it'll be down to under 100 um but anyway yeah i'm headed out to uh get 003 and then 002 i really should have went in the opposite order today but anyway i didn't think that through i'm so used to shooting a message out doing it the same way but anyway that'll cost me 10 minutes but uh it's not the end of the world uh we got a couple properties to go out and knock out today this is monday these are 10 day yards 10 day yards i do have a few that are 10 day and you might say why do you do 10 day yards uh these 10 days were bi-weekly and because of the growth uh, I talked to the customers about making them 10 day properties and they were agreeable to that. Now, you know, that might not fit your business model, might not fit the way that you do things. I know some people don't even do bi weeklies. Hey, if you don't, that's fine. But if you live where I live, unless you corner the market on weekly properties, uh, you would starve to death trying to do weekly only. Uh, a lot of bi weekly properties here, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of centipede and things, you know, centipede, unfertilized, unwatered, a uh, bunch of bahia, you know. Um, but there are a lot of people out here where I live that do not fertilize, they do not water, they just want their lawn knocked down. They're not looking for home and garden lawn, um, you know, they just want to cut and looking decent. So, uh, anyway, a good alternative for me when I have a customer that's on a bi weekly schedule and we go through a season of uh, growth uh, we're getting a lot of rain uh, and the grass is just growing fast uh, one of the things i found is uh, i will say to them hey you know for this month let's do a 10-day schedule and uh, i've never had anybody turn me down for that um, now i'm not saying they won't but if i were to say hey let's go weekly i can almost bet you uh, that those same customers would be unwilling to go weekly especially when you're talking about a larger property where you're charging you know 90 to 120 dollars uh you know if you're talking about 20 28 dollar properties or 30 dollar properties you know i mean it still doubles the price but uh you you get what i'm saying uh there's a big difference between paying uh 270 dollars a month or let's say a hundred dollar line there's a big difference between paying 300 dollars a month and 400 dollars a month you know so uh especially when they're used to paying 200 dollars a month so anyway uh we got that and then i do actually have this will be the first time i go back to this property uh somebody doesn't live there he's got it on the market he's trying to sell it uh this is actually an every three week now this is a very very odd thing for me uh you know, I told him I'd take a look at it and see what it looked like. I, I did a cleanup for him, charged him a cleanup price, no problem with that. Uh, the grass, you know, supposedly grows fairly slow. Uh, we'll see. And, you know, I told him I would try it. Uh, again, this is somebody trying to get a house on the market and get it sold. He doesn't live here. Uh, you know, so, uh, you know, I, I try stuff like that. You know, I try, and I tell people, hey, if it works out, if it benefits me, it benefits you, we'll continue to do it. You know, if it doesn't, we'll have to look at, you know, changing the price, changing the uh, frequency. So none of that stuff's locked in. It's kind of under a trial basis. So uh, anyway, I am pulling up here on Mount Money Moor. 
to uh, pick up 003 and uh, we're gonna go out and see what we can get done today so we will check back with y'all in a few minutes all right we are we got 003 that crack doesn't show up in there but I definitely got a crack two of them don't I it looks like two, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are now departing from Mount Money Moore that's what y'all called us, isn't it? No. <laughs> Mount Money Moore. That's a new name. Well, I mean, we named properties that we cut, so I might as well name y'all's subdivision. Uh-huh. 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 Somebody, they commented on one of my videos, the one, so, let's see. Friday's video, I put up, um, I think I called it Who's in Charge or something like that. You any idea why I gave it that name? <coughs> you don't remember? Mm -mm. You're not lying, are you? Mm -mm. Or you really don't remember? Mm -mm. You don't remember from Himes? Oh. Oh. <laughs> so, somebody said they, somebody, some lady commented on there, she thought, she said she thought you would make a good leader. Her name's Grace. Say, thank you, Grace. Thank you. There you go. She watches a lot of videos, so. Anyway, uh, we're going to get 002 and we'll cut some grass. Check back with y'all. I done renamed uh, uh, 003's subdivision. You know you go up the hill going in there, right? Mount Money Moore. <laughs> Think that's about right? Yeah. yeah. All right, Mount Money Moore. We got two votes for it. All in favor? <laughs> <laughs> now you get voted out, man. Any Egyptians? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, gotta go cut some grass now. Mo money, mo money, mo money. They love this mo money. Oh, let's talk about the forecast. We might as well, <laughs> we might as well talk about the forecast. What y'all thinking? I think we gonna cut. We I gonna cut. We, I think we cut till dark if we had to. So both y'all think we good today? Oh, I guarantee we good. Oh, guarantee. Mm -hmm. I guarantee. It does look really good where we going. It looks a lot better than behind us. A little bit dark so anyway hopefully we're gonna get them done we'll see all right we at number one no. y'all seen this yard oh well, you've seen all of them the thick of hay on this side and this front's like centipede this is nice it doesn't grow up it just runs so anyway 002 what we gonna do man what's the plan we oh lord you don't know I guess same I think as last time. Cut grass. huh I guess same as last time what's the same as last time i'm new i don't know what to do i don't forgot i'm just here for a check that's all i'm here for i'm just here to make more money so you got to motivate me man so what you want us to do <laughs> you don't care you want us just to pack up and go home all right we'll try we tried 003. What we gonna do, man? Same as last time. That answer don't work. I don't know what we did last time. All right, I'm gonna, have, know, to, we, we I'm gonna have to. <laughs> we know what we did. <laughs> so y'all me just sit in the truck until y'all get done? <laughs> man, they ain't, they ain't helping me out. That's for sure. All right, I guess I'm gonna have to get off here and tell them what they got to do.
Five oh nine. About forty minutes. There about. All right, this one's done. Well, wait on double O two to get back, but it cut a lot better this time. Oh yeah. Not wet. All right, we got the last one for today. I don't know if y'all see how steep that ditch bank is, but anyway, I'm gonna get in here and trim this thing. Or not trim it. I'm gonna cut it. And this could be my final video. We'll see, I hope not. done with this one these nasty banks done see if you can even see how I have to pull in here I go down the road here to that bridge and I spin around I wait till nothing's coming for about three quarters of a mile to a mile I can see I spin around run back down this road and back in real quick watch how fast the car comes around that corner it's dangerous dangerous but nowhere else to park, so that's what we do. Anyway, we're done for today. Check back with you in a minute. All right, we are done for today. Um, we only did three today. Got one we can't record at, 
and uh, it's a pretty good size. I mean, it's like uh, one and a half, probably one and a half acres, something like that. Um, a lot of trimming. But anyway, we got those done. It took us about two hours and 45 minutes. And they were a little bit spread out today too, so uh, a lot of that wasn't cut time. But anyway, it was uh, it's nice. It didn't rain. Thank the Lord for that, uh, at least for today. Uh, we were able to first, uh, haven't been cutting a whole bunch of dry grass here lately, especially not in the afternoon. Uh, and then when you start early in the morning, the dew's not up. When it rains at night and you get dew, it's not up until, you know, it's not dried out till 11 o'clock. We're halfway done by then. So anyway, we got a, uh, we got a big week though uh, for us. You know, just doing a little bit on the side. We got about uh, probably 17 properties left. And, um, you know, we got, you know, there's a couple of those that are under an acre, but most of them are acre plus, or six and a half acres on there. We got a 2.25. 2 um, got another one that's almost two acres. So some pretty good sized properties to get. So we're gonna jump back on them uh, Thursday afternoon and uh, see what we can get done. And you know, the more we get done on Thursday, the less we got to do on Friday. So uh, and then we'll be back the next week. Will be a pretty light week. So anyway, um, appreciate y'all watching. Uh, appreciate y'all comment, liking the videos. Uh, my views have been going up. And that's because y'all been watching, you know, and I do appreciate that. Uh, my subscriber count is slowly, slowly going up, but that's okay, you know. I really want people to subscribe to the channel that uh, enjoy, you know, watching some of this kind of content. Uh, watching me and 002 and 003 have some fun. I'm telling you, we, we really have, uh, we have had some fun. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly going to miss, uh, you know, them getting back in school and all now that's important that's what they need to do but uh you know it, it's just a lot of fun doing it with somebody i did for about a year and a half solo with nobody ever helping uh, other than maybe on some big trim jobs or cleaning out beds or something like that but uh you know really we just go to a job do it go back home but we've had a lot of fun just riding around and uh giving each other a hard time so Anyway, uh, I'm about to get to the house. My wife sent me a message that supper is ready, and I am ready to eat. So, hey, my prayer for you is always the same, that the Lord might richly bless you and that you might see all of your blessings uh, as from him. Y'all have a great day.